going to tell you a little story today and it's well if, you, if you've read the title if you've clicked on this video you know what it's going to be about it's going to be about perfumes and smells and deodorants and uh yeah this story today is going to be a little bit sad and as i'm telling this story i i think it'll come to light as to why it's a it's a little bit of a sad story all right so so I'm now in my early 40s and I wanted to share with you sort of my experiences with, uh, how shall we call them, like smells, all right? So smells as I've grown up. So early in my life, I like uh, living with my parents, um, my dad, he was a you know, um, stereotypical uh, Eastern European man <laughs> from Hungary. And uh, my dad had one, one smell and one deodorant that he ever used. And it just happens that I have one with me right here. There it is. <laughs> if you don't know this smell, if you haven't heard of Brut, uh, you haven't been alive, okay? Or maybe that's just my perception, I don't know. But anyway, Brut. Now, this deodorant stick, because it is a, oh my God, I haven't used it in years. I don't even know why I've got it. Anyway, oh my God, that's just memories of my childhood. Because um, dad just slathered this thing on, okay? And it is this smell that I associate with my father. So for us young men, you know, 10, 12 year olds, whatever, it's gonna be our first experience with any deodorant. And so dad's doing it, you start to become a bit of a teenager, so you are gonna try it as well. And that's what I did. I also used Brut very early on. And uh, that's you know, at the time I was like, okay, well, it's, it's, it's just something that um, my dad's telling me to use, my mom's telling me to use because I'm starting to get sweaty and stinky and uh, getting older. Brut was the first smell that I was sort of exposed to that I can, as far back as I can remember, all right? Brut is a very traditional, masculine sort of uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit hard to explain. Uh, very long lasting. Uh, you, you're going to smell it for quite a while if you keep using, if you're still using Brut. It's, it's been around for such a long time. It's been around for, uh, you know, a long time. So as a young guy, you kind of might receive a few bits and pieces as presents. So uh, you might get a deodorant spray for a, for a birthday present or something, or you know, for Christmas or something in, in, in a pack, or what have you, as you go through your teenage years. And you know you're, you 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 develop a movement away from brute. So from brute, I then through the years started to you know go through my teenage years and deodorant sticks, antiperspirants coming to your life. So things like this sort of stuff here, uh, Adidas antiperspirant. Okay, is this mine? I think it's mine. Yeah, it's mine. Um, so um, things like this, Adidas. I use this still to this day okay it's a good little after shower freshen up all right um shower in a can here's another one links okay and the reality is that uh okay unless, unless you're paying some attention to what's going on you are going to be buying these from woolworths or coles okay when i first went to go and buy these uh, mum always used to you know, instilling me that you've got to smell it, you've got to make sure you enjoy it and what have you. And so I used to, you know, you open it up and you do one little spray, you smell it, give it a go. If you like it, get it. If you don't like it, get another one. That's it, okay? That, that was that was the uh, sort of the, 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 the most exposure you will get to different smells as a kid is deodorant sticks and deodorant sprays. So yeah, that, that, that was pretty much it um, from my teens up into my 20s. And you know, I there, there was no nothing special about it. Uh, aftershaves didn't exist because I used this. <laughs> um, so again, my mom got me onto Isagol as an after aftershave uh, thing. And all it is is uh, I'm not sure. Do you get Isagol in America or around the world? But in Australia, you get it. It's a um, alcohol. It's a rubbing alcohol, antiseptic. Awesome. But the smell of this thing, okay, is oh yeah, it's just alcoholic-y, pretty fresh smell, okay? But it's, it's not, not nothing special, okay, icicle. So, so I wasn't exposed to aftershaves as such until, until I received as a present some perfumes. And uh, 
keep in mind I've never ever had perfumes before. So here we go, this is the first one and this is the first perfume I received as a gift. It's FC UK if you can see it. Friction. All right, now here's where the sad part of the story starts. Um, I think roughly I received this in 2000 and I'm gonna say 2003. <laughs> 2003 is how long I've had this bottle for, okay? And uh, as I'm looking at it, like, I don't know if you can tell, the color, like, it's, it's fairly full still. That's sad in its own self. <laughs> Pretty full. Uh, but the color's changed a little bit, okay? So if you haven't got a, a, a bottle of um, FC UK Friction uh, on the uh, advertising stuff today, it does not look this color. So it's possibly gone off a little bit. And the other one that I see at the same time is In To You, which is a CK fragrance. And that is also fairly full. <laughs> okay, so here they are, the two perfumes that I have grown up with from my sort of early 20s up until about two months ago, a month ago. <laughs> so, so this is the only fragrance that I have ever received any compliments about. And that, re and I don't know if it was a positive compliment. It was maybe just a "Hey, I can tell you've got this stuff on" <laughs> type of a compliment. <laughs> so, at least it was better than bo. I single-handedly blame my lack of trying other perfumes and stuff on this thing, because it was a. Uh, uh, at the time, I kind of went, "Okay, well, I don't really." care about what I smell like. I know it's not B.O. because remember I'm using this sort of stuff. Um, it's, it's all good. But then, um, but at the same time, like I um, would use a little bit of this now and again. And I didn't hate it. I didn't like it. It was just a fragrance that I had. Now, so when I now today, when I smell this, whoo, it's, wow, it's really hard to pinpoint exactly what to say about it. Um, I think it may have sort of matured a little bit in its uh, perfume, in its, uh, in its um, fragrances. So when I spray a little bit of this on, it, it lasts a long time and it kind of is like a little bit musky sort of, I feel like uh, very uh, kind of floral, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit hard to explain exactly the sort of tones on this and the, you know, the base smells, but it's, uh, and I'm not even sure if it's the actual smell that I'm smelling that I'm supposed to, because this bottle, keep in mind, is from about 2003. So it's, it's old. <laughs> then when I received this one, this is a very, very different smell to the FC UK. And uh, Into You, okay, it's again a cheapie and it's a very floral type of a, fragrance and at the time again early 2000s I've had it for a long time um, this CK was uh, something I didn't wear a lot because I considered it quite feminine and even to this day I think it's a little bit feminine since since I've started um, you know actually caring a little bit about what I smell like uh, I've been using into you a few more times and I actually don't mind this it's kind of refreshing very summery floral a little bit and also uh, it has that um, it does have that uh, shower gel sort of you know edge to it the reason I'm making this video is because I was browsing YouTube going through doing my stuff and I came across a video from a guy you might know if you're clicking on this video and that is uh, Jeremy fragrance and uh, oh my god what a, well, what a character I is awesome I absolutely love him I love his confidence he is the sort of guy, uh, you know, it's the sort of guy you're gonna see at Monaco at the Formula One, <laughs> one of the balconies <laughs> with a couple of girls around him, dressed up, looking good. And uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy his videos. So if you're seeing this, Jeremy, thanks mate. I really, really enjoy your videos. Okay, so, so now I'm right into a couple of these fragrances. And it's, uh, it's kind of reminded me that I've got a, <laughs> Well, he doesn't remind me that I've got a 12 year old son, but I have a 12 year old son. And he is looking at me in terms of 
you know, a role model of sorts, I suppose. And uh, I just kind of, I, I'm thinking, mm, this is this is the time when I can maybe persuade him to start thinking early about fragrances and stuff. He might start his love of uh, fragrances and smells early, or definitely a lot earlier than what happened with me. And this is where I have to be very careful because Alex has already received his first his first uh, fragrance. All right, here it is. It's called Mustang, Ford, Ford's Mustang uh, Cologne Spray. Okay, and I have to say, it's not bad. Again, very shower gel. Kind of, a, it's, it's almost like these two together. Okay, but more of this and then just a hint of this. Now, not a bad start, of course, but he didn't choose this. So who knows, he might not like this. Furthermore, when I use this, and this has been happening for quite some time now, uh, I, I, it gives me a little headache. Okay, so something in this, some of the ingredients in here, I don't know which one, um, is, is, is creates a, a slight reaction for me. And I, I've read in places that something like 30% of people have a, uh, a reaction to, to perfumes. And then um, in other places, I've read 70% of people have reactions to perfumes, so definitely, get a reaction with this one but I don't I don't get a reaction with this one and some of the other ones that I'm trying at the moment I, I, I gotta figure it out exactly okay so imagine if Alex is starting to use perfumes and this one is one that gives him a headache okay he's not gonna like it and then I, that's, that's 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 gonna be a really really sort of negative start to using body sprays to using cologne to using you know EDTs etc etc like, oh, I want to make sure that his experience is, is positive. And, you know, speaking to a 12-year-old boy about colognes and perfumes and things like that, all right, it's, 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 a, it's an interesting topic, but uh, yeah, I just want to make sure he likes it. So he's actually, um, so he's seen me with um, some of these perfumes that I was starting to use, and he's presented this, and, uh, and he hasn't used it before, and um, it's not bad, but he, he doesn't really like it. So, so hopefully with the um, different brands and different types that I'm getting uh, coming through, hopefully he does enjoy one and then he can you know, use one uh, over the next few years. So I hope that made sense in terms of what I'm trying to get at with, uh, with regards to Alex. I think uh, I, I want him to have a little bit more um, exposure to these things, I suppose, than what I had. So this being my first fragrances video, I'm going to share with you two that I've recently bought. Uh, actually, one of them was a present bought by my wife. And then the other one is the one that Jeremy Fragrance recommends, a highly popular fragrance. And I just want to give you my thoughts, whether I like it or not, and uh, where I'm at with it. So I'll start with the present, and that was Intimately Beckham from my wife. That's it there. It's a EDT. And again, that's a quick little smell of this one. There are definitely floral notes in this one, okay? So again, a slightly feminine sort of, I think it's a bit feminine, and there is a female version of this one. Uh, so, but I have used it a few times, and I don't mind it. I think it's it's got a nice little edge on it. Not very long lasting. That's definitely uh, something that's noticeable about the David Beckham uh, Intimately, is it's not a long lasting perfume. It's uh, definitely just something to, to throw on for a couple of hours and then it just very quickly disappears. If I can't smell it after a, like an hour or two, it's 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 no, no one else is gonna notice. So yeah. Anyway, not a bad one. And again, quite towards the budget end of uh, of uh, EDT. And then the one that has got me to into fragrances and kind of makes me want to buy more and more. And I've got an order coming. So I'll share that with you later. But uh, here it is. You know what it is. It's uh, Dolce & Gabbana, the one. That's that's the one there. And you can see it's already halfway <laughs> halfway empty. It's only a little bottle. And um, just walked into Chemist Warehouse here in Australia and uh, it was on a little bit of a special, so I bought it straight away. And I just want, this is the first one I've actually tried from Jeremy Fragrance and his recommendations. And it comes, almost every time it comes in a top 10 of his favorite, uh, you know, perfumes. Uh, it's only the EDT and he is dead set right. And every other video, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise, this is a not very long lasting 
uh, smell. All right, so it's going to be something that um, you are going to smell for. Well, I, I, I don't know how well I can smell, but an hour, maybe, out, maybe an hour and a half, two hours max. All right, uh, and I do five sprays of this. So one, two, three, four, and then one at the back. I oh, also do one on the wrist. And uh, yeah, sort of an hour and a half, two hours tops, and it kind of disappears after that. It's uh, it's not very long lasting, but everyone has who has tried EDT mentions the same thing. So it's not news, but I just want to see what it's like. Now, the fragrance of this. This is this is where it's really interesting because, okay, so there's something about this mixture. There's something about the one I, mm, it's, It's really hard to explain for me. Uh, hopefully, I'll get much better at explaining smells and you know what I'm noticing in these. But it's sort of a definitely like a woody, tobacco-y, like. But they're, they're all just edges. Like it's it's not overpowering on tobacco. It's not overpowering on the wood. It's not over. It's not. There's floral, but it's tiny bit of floral. It's only just there. Okay. So. so one thing I have noticed on first spray, it's a little bit, a little bit alcoholic-ishy. Then as, as, as it starts to um, dry out, oh my God, it is so good. I can't, I can't explain. It's, it's like nothing else here in front of me. Okay, so I've got, um, like I said to you, I've got all these, all these body sprays, nothing like those. It's not shower gel. It's not floral floral. It's uh, not musty sort of whatever this thing is. Um, definitely, and again, not shower gel, and and uh, yeah, floral. It's it's got this something. Uh, I can't I can't put my finger on the smell. It's kind of a little bit sweet. It's it's definitely sweet, but it's yeah. I mm, I can't tell. I'll have to yeah. So uh, all I can say is I really do enjoy the fragrance that the one provides. So vroom vroom zoom, a different sort of topic again. Uh, this is how it is for me. I'm just, uh, this is the stuff that I'm watching. This is the stuff that I, I want to make content about. And um, yeah, I don't know, let me know. Do you want me to do more? Uh, I've got a batch of stuff coming. I'll do a separate video about that in a minute. But um, at the moment, this is my first fragrance, men's fragrance video. I hope you enjoyed my little, ramblings about you know yeah it's i think i think it's kind of a little bit important that in your like early in your life in your foundation years in your teenage years that you sort of do get the right start to using fragrances otherwise you're going to be like me you're going to be 20 years of just using sprays and whatever you can get from coals and yeah nah okay so if you've got any questions or comments or if you'd like to you know maybe no doubt you might have some better ideas about some of these perfumes and colognes than me. If you can tell me what are the notes of this Friction FC UK, that'd be great. This is a mystery to me. Can you please enlighten me what this is supposed to smell like, whether I should put it in the bin because it is very, very old or whether I'm correct in its musky sort of uh, longevity, very long lasting uh, fragrance, whether this is quality or not, please let me know. Okay, that'd be great. Hi everyone, that's, that's it for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.